the rest of the story. Americans, in the relentlessly frustrating, endlessly fascinating universe of the game of golf, the so-called hacker lives in an overpopulated and yet potentially lonely world of his own. But what rescues him from miserable self-deprecating isolation in the pursuit of that utterly unmasterable game are the other three otherwise lost souls in his weekend foursome, the companions whose mere companionship can turn a critical putt rimmed into a slap on the back and a smile. And while we're on the subject, here's my vote for the most memorable golfing partner of them all. Even the sound of his name will make you grin. It's Kai Lafoon. That's his real name, Kai, K-Y, Lafoon. Kai is part Indian, born in Arkansas, wears loud clothing, chews tobacco, and cusses too much. His particular talent is that he takes the game way too seriously without making you mad at him. Except when he spits tobacco juice in the hole before you've retrieved your ball from it. Kai's method of avoiding personal responsibility for a slice drive or a chili-dipped chip or any other errant shot is to blame everything, everything, on his clubs. And he chastises his clubs accordingly, as though they were conscious conspirators against him. Walking off the 16th green one day, after an especially embarrassing three-putt, he decided to punish his insolent putter, so he began strangling it, choking it at the hosel. And when it refused to die... Kai strode straight into a greenside creek and held the club underwater, shouting, Drown, you blankety-blank, drown! A similar fate awaited Kai's pitching wedge, which had so insulted him during one round that he tied it to the rear bumper of his car and he drove around until the club head was a shapeless stump. Then there was that time in Hot Springs when Kai's driver tricked him by heeling the ball off the tee. Kai shook the club violently. And he raved, if you can't hit the ball straight, then you should hang. And with that, he flung it high into the branches of a nearby tree. There it became entangled. After an appropriate period of humiliation, he attempted to dislodge the driver by hurling another club at it to knock it down. But that other club got stuck. And then another club. And then another. Until there were too few clubs remaining in Kai's golf bag for him even to finish the round. His wife, Irene, tried her best to cure him of the cussing part of his hot-headedness. And Kai, in turn, tried his best to reform. In fact, his good intentions once lasted 14 holes. Until his drive on the 15th landed in a bed of honeysuckle from which it took four vicious strokes to extricate himself. And so, in laughing recollections, is sung the blustery ballad of Kai Lafone, the most memorable golfing partner anybody ever remembered, who could name among his own playing partners Many of the greatest who ever struck the ball. For Kai Lafoon, who once angrily dragged his pitching wedge behind his car 400 miles to the next tournament, Kai Lafoon, despite the red-hot temper and otherwise undisciplined demeanor one might expect of an exasperated hacker, was himself one of the game's greatest. A touring professional from 1933 through 49, who won six tournaments in his first two years alone, volatile comical Kai Lafoon, who throughout one full season on the tour averaged under 70 strokes per round, the very first pro ever to do so in the history of the game. Now you know Kai Lafoon. Now you know the rest of the story.